We make t-shirts from recycled plastic bottles. Is it cost effective to produce this kind of cloth? That's a, a very good question. Print your ticket. And then check your ticket for your reward. The PET, polyethylene terephthalate, is in fact polyester. It's exactly the same material. Do you know that around 10 million tons of plastic are dumped into the ocean every year? Plastic from carrier bags, packaging, food containers and drink bottles. But there are companies working towards circular economy. Today, my scrap team have visited Degrade, an innovative company located in Dubai, that converts pet plastic bottles into cloth and other useful materials. My name is Chris Barber, I'm the founder of Degrade and we make t-shirts from recycled plastic bottles. So let me show you the uh, part of the process here. We have actually seven different types of plastic, all of which can be recycled, but some of them are easier to recycle than others. We're interested in this one, which is PET1. This is used for food grade packaging and for making bottles. And basically we can take this, this material into our process recycle it and make t-shirts and other garments, which I can talk to you about. Other plastics include HDPE, which you'll find in milk bottles, PVC, which we also have in bottles as caps and labels, um, LDPE, which is plastic bags, which have now been banned from most supermarkets, I'm glad to say, uh, PP, which is polypropylene, which is used for yogurt pots and shampoo bottles. Again, that can be recycled. Polystyrene, very difficult to recycle, but still can be recycled. And this other one is for PLA plastics, which are plant-based plastics, which actually are not very good for us because once they get into our process, they can start degrading uh, and that can have a knock-on effect with our materials. So let me show you how our process works. We take the whole plastic bottle, including the lid and the label, the label is actually PVC, but it can be recycled as well. The lid is HDPE, which again can be recycled. And we wash the bottle um, and shred it into flakes so that we end up with 100% PET plastic flakes. These can then be either upstreamed into pellets to then go back into making more bottles, or can actually be heated and melted into a liquid and extruded into fiber. This again is 100% recycled PET fiber, which is polyester. And then that can be spun into our green spun yarn as conventional polyester. So this can be used as 100% or it can be blended with other fibres like cotton or uh, other man-made fibres like viscose. And we end up with products like t-shirts, polo shirts. This is actually made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. We even can make dresses and masks. How challenging it was to persuade the public go for plastic clothes? Well, I mean, we started this 10 years ago um, and at that time, people saw it more as a novelty than something that was practically possible. Um, nowadays, or at least in the past five years, a lot of companies have decided that they want to be more sustainable and they've seen the benefits of having fabrics which are made from recycled materials. All of what we do is business to business. We don't really supply consumers very much. So we're the licensees for Expo. So all the Expo product we've created for consumers directly although we go through retail, re, retail partners to actually sell the product. Mm. We do get a lot of comments and a lot, yeah. a lot of uh, cynicism around PET mm. plastic bottles. What people need to realise is that PET, polyethylene terephthalate, is in fact polyester. It's exactly the same material. So what we're doing is we're recreating it, reprocessing it back into the material that, that is suitable for, for clothing. Mm. Is it cost effective to produce this kind of cloth? 
That's a, a very good question. The, the amount of uh, work uh, and uh, processing that takes place to convert a plastic bottle to a t-shirt, as you can imagine, <coughs> is a lot more difficult than conventional manufacturing. So resulting in, in an increasing cost of around about 15%. I'm very fortunate so far as I have a very good support with my family, with my wife, as well encouraging me to, to go on. Uh, but yeah, you have to be very determined to, to, to get to something like this to market. We've managed to work with some very good companies that have supported us um, and we have obviously put all our or, or any profits back into developing new products. Um, we have over 250 different fabrics now that we've developed. Our, our mission really is to replace virgin polyester with recycled polyester. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm Head of Marketing and CSR at Decray. Uh, we're really excited. In the next month, we're about to launch um, the community recycling campaign through our reverse vending machines. So you'll be able to find these reverse vending machines at select locations in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and LA. These machines will make it easy and reward you for recycling. Just take your plastic bottle, make sure it's a clear plastic bottle, PET or type one plastic. Press the start button, place it in the machine. And the machine will read the barcode crush the bottle, then you can press finish once you've entered all your bottles inside and then print your ticket. And then check your ticket for your reward. We find actually that young, young people, or, or children in mm -hmm. fact, are actually better at it than adults. Yeah. Um, it, it seems to be the, the generation, the 20 to the 30 year old age group that aren't, aren't really so conscious about recycling and don't really care as much for the planet as the young people do. Um, but when, they, when we show them the process and what we can do with the plastic when it's recycled, then they make a real effort to recycle it. Can it be a real recycle, your product, right now? Yes, it can, uh, through chemical recycling. So we, what we do is we do manual recycling. So we take the plastic bottle, we shred it, we create the uh, fibre, and then we spin it into yarn and we make it as conventional fabric. But then once you get to the finished product stage, you can actually chemically recycle it back into the polymer that was PET and then create new, new plastic bottles. Not something that we do yet, but there are companies that are coming into, into the market now with this technology. Uh, and we're speaking to a couple of local mm -hmm. partners here about possibly doing that in the next couple of years. And, and basically, you know, the, the feedstock material that we use in our process can also be used to make new bottles. Mm -hmm. There's no reason really that, you know, plastic bottles cannot be recycled all the time. That's one of the beauties of plastic. That's why it was invented in the first place. It's far easier to recycle than aluminium. Mm -hmm. It's far better for the environment than recycling paper. It does involve investment and it does increase the cost, but it also creates a product which can last longer. That's all inside story of the great for today. Thank you for watching me. See you next time.